Shout out, Vandy. I do as a baller. Questions for, uh, for Jackson? Jackson, with uh, Trey going down kind of late in the first half and having the guys around you that to throw to, I guess, what's your evaluation of kind of that second half offensively? I know there were some points that were left out there, but how do you think you guys stepped up around you? Yeah, we definitely lost, left out a lot of points in the second half. Um, so that's going to probably, that's going to be the biggest takeaway is just making sure that next time we, you know, take advantage of those opportunities to take them out. Um, but I was super proud of, you know, like guys like Jay Watt and Juice and Caden Lee and, um, you know, even uh, Prescorn had a big third down conversion. So, you know, all those guys stepping up, making big plays. And then obviously like running the, the football, especially in that fourth quarter was big for us. And um, yeah, I think this was just a really good win for our team. Uh, you know, it, it, I can't even explain how much it hurt last week. So just being able to go through that um, and then stack this win and um, get some good momentum. Jackson, I think the word you said to me last week was sick. I asked what the move was with y'all. Mm. How did you see y'all kind of respond throughout this week in practice? I was just really impressed with like how we were able to come together. Um, we had a player meeting, um, a lot of meetings with just one-on-one -on -one individual guys. And as leadership, um, you know, when you have like such a talented team and you have a game like that, that you just screw up on your own. Uh, you know, you definitely have to look at yourself in the mirror. And you got to see like, what are you about? Like, you know, what's your identity as a team? So just being able to have those conversations and, uh, you know, the team felt a lot of urgency this week. And uh, yeah, I was just, I was just happy how we were able to come together instead of divide. Jackson, what's it like to have a guy like uh, JJ there in the goal line? He's so awesome, huh? He's so awesome. He's probably, I mean, he's the only defensive tackle who can move like that in the whole country. Um, he could honestly play tight end for us too. So uh, he's a special talent. And uh, any time that he's in the game and has the opportunity to have the ball in his hands, uh, good things are going to happen, especially on the offensive side. With the atmosphere being made so much what it is at this place, how big was it for the defense to get those early stops and be able to capitalize? Oh, huge. Very huge. Um, especially getting those turnovers early in the game. Um, you know, and, and then us being able to capitalize on those. Uh, you know, going up two scores is a really big deal, especially when you're going into somebody else's place. And then, you know, just them playing a complete game, being able to hold them out of the end zone is, you know, extremely impressive, especially against an SEC opponent. Well, how big were you trying to get a touchdown for Juice? Trying to go mm -hmm. a couple of times that just, just missed on, on a couple of those throws? Yeah, those ones are going to hurt. Those are, ones are going to hurt for sure. But I was happy with how he was able to handle himself. Um, I know that's definitely not easy coming into a place where you were the guy and then, you know, everybody turns on you. But um, I'm just proud of him, how he handled this week. And, uh, you know, people forget, like, he was hurt this whole offseason, so we didn't get a lot of reps together. And, uh, you know, I think it's just you know, kind of a wake-up call for us as well just to, you know, try to take advantage of the reps we get in practice. How was sure. sitting where you were sitting a minute ago? He kept glancing up at that, too. I mean, Vanderbilt beating Alabama week after Alabama beats Georgia. I mean, does it kind of just show how crazy the league is, maybe how crazy the game is right now? Yeah, absolutely. That dude's a beast. Uh, Pavia, he, he, he fires me up. But, uh, yeah, I think, you know, the, the SEC is the closest thing to the NFL. Um, you hear people say that all the time, but it really is. Like, you know, it's, it's unpredictable each and every week. Um, if you're not really on your like, you can slip up and lose. So. Um, and that goes for anybody, any team. I mean, that game says it all, too, and just like us last week. So, um, you know, it's definitely really fun to play in. Um, it can get stressful at times, but you got to stay on your toes and be ready each and every week. You guys are going to have a huge one next weekend, obviously, against the team that you've had downs and ups against. What, how big of a game does that already feel like as you go into the Tiger Stadium? Yeah, it's huge. It's, it's huge. But I'm going to make sure to enjoy this one with our team. Um, you know, SEC games are hard to come by, and they're hard to win. Uh, regardless of who you're playing, and especially coming into a ho hostile atmosphere like this. So um, we're going to enjoy this, but, you know, at the same time, you know, we know what's coming up next week, and uh, we know how big of a game it is, and, and we're going to be ready. Jackson, what, what, what did you learn about this team just over the last week? Um, I think it just showed, like, what our true identity is. Uh, like I said earlier, like, we had every opportunity to divide and turn away inside the locker room, point fingers at this, that, and the other, and, the truth is, is we didn't, um, you know, coming out of the game, you know, we were all just quiet in the locker room. Like there wasn't a lot of words said. 
Um, you know, we all had the exact same feeling. I mean, a lot of us met up like at 2 a.m. That, that day, like we couldn't sleep and we just had tough conversations. And, um, you know, like I said, so us being able to bounce back and have a win like this. And then, you know, obviously our defense coming up and showing out in a big way was huge. I don't know if you can get into the facility at, at 2 a.m. Well, I don't know if you're part of that meeting, but what was, where, where was that at? Well, we have fingerprints, so we can okay. get in. Um, but we actually had it, we had it like a little fire and we just sat around the fire. Jackson, what's it like just playing with defense with this level of trust you're putting out? You probably never have that during your time over. So. Honestly, I haven't had a defense like this in my college career. So um, it takes a lot of stress off of our shoulders when we feel like we don't have to score every single drive to win. Um, I think we need to start feeling like that a little bit more so we can put more points up. Um, but at the same time, when you can come off the field and you have all the confidence, regardless of where you give the ball to your defense, that they're going to find a way to come out with a stop. And I think they're the prime example of, of bend but don't break. So, um, you know, like I, I've said it from the get-go, like it's tough to go against them in practice. So um, I know it's, it's got to be hard for everybody else to go against them as well. All right, we'll wrap it up with Jackson. And uh, next player for the Appreciate y'all.